Hi, it's Ray Weedell. Attributes of an excellent real estate agent. Things you should be looking for in an agent before you sell your house. Now, the topic for today is listing to get the best possible price. Right now, what you're going to get from most realtors, and it's going to be taught to them to a large degree by most of their brokers, so they'll not like this video at all. This is not going to be one of these, hey, realtors are great type of things. I'm going to tell you that in a hot market like we've seen in the last 12 months, meaning low supply, a great number of buyers in relation to the number of pro properties on the market and things are selling in one day, we have been underselling the market because brokers and realtors say price to sell. That means price it low. I sell it in one day. I send cards out in the neighborhood. Hey, I sold at 100% price and I sold it in one day. I'm great when they didn't really sell anything. They just put in the MLS at a price lower than where it should have been. And of course, somebody swooped in and bought it. So don't undersell your property in a hot market. On the other hand, oftentimes the market slows down. Oftentimes your situation is such that you need to move quickly. This is all about you. This is all about what your needs are. If you need to move quickly and $10,000, $20,000 doesn't mean that much to you, yeah, we'll price it lower and yeah, we'll market it hard to sell quickly. But if you're not in that situation and you want to go through full-blown marketing as it should be done by an expert top flight realtor, by the way, I just got this, a realtor with a really good brain, by the way, I'll see that point here, but anyway, that's a different situation. So in other words, your realtor has to understand you, your needs, your situation, and where you are. Now, let me give you some examples from actual sellers. Here's somebody who wanted to get the highest price possible. So, you know, I like to sell. I don't absolutely need to. I know the market's hot, and I'm tired of these realtors telling me to price it at 475 when I should be getting 500 this kind of thing, when I knew that they should be getting the higher price. Okay, and here's what she said. I was looking for an agent who would work to get the highest possible price for my home, not merely to price it to sell quickly, as other realtors were doing. Ray recommended pricing my house aggressively based on the current market in Reston and recent rising prices. He advertised my home over a wide range of online services. You know, if you list your house and somebody says, I'll get you on a hundred different websites, that's an automatic. You put it on the MLS and that's going to happen. You need to do much more than that. And he also sent color postcards to the neighborhood advertising the first open house. Our open house had over 40 people going through and Ray extracted two offers that first night, both over listing price, a listing price other realtors told me was too high, and he was just giving you that to get the listing. We closed in less than 30 days. I am happy, and the buyers are happy. That's a case where the extra money they got by not pricing to sell quickly made up for more than the entire commission that the woman had to pay. Period. If you're in a hot market, that's how you have to act. Now, another one. Ray has guided us through two purchases and two sales in the rest of town center area over the past nine years. Always ahead of the curve on movement in that market, which enabled us to maximize our position on whichever side of the deal we found ourselves at the time. Now, your agent has to be flexible. They have to know how to sell houses. They have to know how to buy houses. They have to know that when they're in a the buyer's hat, working for you buying a house, their mentality and their approach is way different than when they're selling your house. Important distinction here. So maximized our position on whichever side of the deal we found ourselves in at the time. Raised financial knowledge was a huge help in bringing offer negotiations to fruition. A lot of times, this doesn't come down to here's a price, there's a price, we meet this, or we meet in the middle. It's always not that easy. You need somebody with financial background and negotiating skills and gets along with the other agents, gets along with the people involved and make the thing go smoothly, make everybody happy to do it. That's the bottom line. And that's why you're listening to get the best possible price with a top flight agent. Thank you very, very much for listening. Um, we'll have more. I'm um, hoping you're enjoying this series. It's Ray Widell. Thank you very much.